Relentless violence and relentless diplomacy continue as Syria sinks further into chaos. This smoke is from a major oil pipeline hit as government forces bombard the city of Homs, activists say. The regime blames terrorists for the destruction. President Assad's soldiers are also shelling Hammer, the opposition claims, and it says elite troops have stormed a central area of Damascus searching for rebels. Russia joined China this month in vetoing a draft UN Security Council resolution supporting an Arab League peace initiative. As the General Assembly prepares for a vote on Syria which will not be legally binding, France is not giving up hope of Security Council action. We are renegotiating a resolution of the Security Council to see if we can make the Russians give way. Tomorrow we'll have a vote at the General Assembly, a very symbolic vote, but if more than 130 or 140 countries say stop the massacre, that's enough. The Arab League plan must now be implemented. I think that symbol will be strong. France wants the Security Council to discuss creating humanitarian corridors to alleviate civilian suffering. This as President Assad ordered a referendum on a new constitution for Syria, which according to a draft would establish a pluralistic party system.